President William Bruto Wednesday held a telephone conversation with United States Secretary of State Antony Blinken on the developments in Haiti. Blinken briefed Ruto on the decision of the summit of Caribbean countries and the U.S., together with other partners, on the political situation in Haiti. He made the revelations a day after Haitian Prime Minister Ariel Henry resigned from office. The resignation of Henry follows weeks of mounting pressure and increasing violence in the country. This threw the plans to deploy the officers into confusion. It comes after regional leaders met in Jamaica on Monday to discuss a political transition in Haiti. Henry is currently stranded in Puerto Rico after being prevented by armed gangs from returning home. He had led the country since the former president's assassination in July 2021. Speaking following the meeting in Kingston, Caribbean Community Chair and Guyana President Irfan Ali said, Henry had been in Kenya on March 1st, sign a deal on the deployment of an international security force to help tackle violence. When a coalition of gangs attacked police stations and stormed two of Haiti's largest prisons, a plane carrying Henry was stopped from landing following sustained attacks at Haiti's international airport in Kenya. Interior Cabinet Secretary Kitha Kindiki Monday disclosed that the Kenyan-led Haiti mission is in the pre-deployment stage. This means the team is on standby mode and all they are waiting for are logistics to move. Kenya which will lead the team to combat the gang's plans to deploy more than 1,000 officers to Haiti to help in the mission. The teams are from the Rapid Deployment Unit, Anti-Stock Theft Unit, General Service Unit, and Border Patrol Unit. This is a combat-trained team that officials say can handle the situation on the ground. Professionally, heavily armed gangs have controlled the streets of the Haitian capital of Port-au-Prince in recent days demanding the resignation of the unelected prime minister.